What is happening guys? Welcome to the video today. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got some new stuff coming, which is awesome. So today, I know last time we started at the supermarket, this time we're also starting at the supermarket. We're doing an awesome challenge today. Doing a 20 real food budget challenge for the day. I know you guys are thinking, if you put it to pounds, it's four pounds, and it's actually pretty easy back home. But in Saudi, it's freaking hard to try and get that budget, and it's gonna be good to see. I'm gonna try my best to stick to my macros. It's gonna be, I think, beyond impossible. But we're gonna see how it goes and see how much we do it. So we're gonna go into the supermarket and see what we can get. First one we're gonna go is potatoes. Two. 0.9 reals per kilo. So I think I'm just gonna get two potatoes. What is this? Nearly three real. I think we're gonna have to go for one of those. And that will probably go in our sweet potato. So we're having sardines and sweet potato for lunch. Oh, we are going all out. We've got mixed vegetables for one and a half reals, so that's actually pretty good. We're gonna use half of the budget left with six eggs. We freaking need this for proteins. We got one banana, I'm gonna go see how much it is, but fruit is freaking expensive here. So we're gonna try and stick to as much healthy food as possible. I know I haven't done that so far and it's pretty crap, but we're trying to get to under 20 reals for the day, showing you guys it is possible. We're trying to get as close to the calories that I need as possible. I'll see, I'll get one. Beef mince grounded frozen for 350 real, which means is this Arabic bread? I assume so. Freshly baked Arabic bread, one real, which means we got okay. So finally, we actually found some cheap pasta. We've got 225 reals for pasta. So we've had a big change of mind. So sweet potato is actually quite expensive for 3.45, and it is cheaper to get normal potatoes. We had both, but now we have pasta, so we don't need the carbs. So forget about that. So now we're gonna get an actual bit of seasoning. We're gonna get this seasoning with cumin, turmeric, red chili, black pepper, and some other stuff I can't say. Perfect. I'm gonna throw that in for 1.5 real. This time. So we are at the farm. What we did, we'll just read it all out to you, and then we're gonna sort the calories out later. Had to get rid of the tomato, but and I was pushing the boat out there for more vegetables. So, we got potatoes, 2.25. We got a pepper for snort, 0.75. Halala. Vegetables, 1.5. Beef, 3.5. Maggie, seasoning, 1.5. Pasta, 2.25. Some sardines is 2.95. Banana, 1.1. Brown bread, 1. Eggs, 3. And we got rid of the tomato for 9.8. That is what you call a bargain shop. So for breakfast, we've got egg and banana wraps. Look at that. I'd probably actually eat something like this on a normal day, not with this bread, but on a normal day, this is something I'd probably eat. I honestly think it's actually gonna go downhill from here. I get the feeling this is gonna be the best meal of the day. But the worst thing is about this bread. I'm not, I've not had this bread before, so. All right. Mm. This is something which is super quick to make. It tastes fucking good. The bread is quite dry, but can't complain. Breakfast is a solid success. Solid, solid success. Yes, it's a solid success. Banging meal. We can make it a little bit better if it was a bit of bread, but it's a little bit more expensive. For one real, you can't complain for the bread. And I know what you guys are gonna say right now, I did not get water, but if you were in the UK or quite a lot of countries around the world, you can drink from a tap. So this is why water is not being used at the budget. So that is why we're just sticking to food for today. So I'm gonna enjoy this wrap, probably do a bit of work, watch something, and we're just gonna do a bit of a time lapse to get this over and done with. So let's go. Okay, 
breakfast is done. Breakfast pretty banging. I'm actually gonna give it, and I'm gonna give it a rating. I like my ratings. As it is quite close to something I would eat. That is a good seven out of 10. Seven out of 10 breakfast on the 20 real budget. So I'm gonna do some work, maybe play FIFA. Probably more FIFA than work, but I'm gonna do both. And then we're gonna get back to you at lunch. Out and about, walking around. You know what they say, a walk a day keeps the corona away. That's actually not a saying, it's actually an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But I don't actually think walking out would keep the corona out. Oh, the puns are uh, on point. You know what? You had some chocolate spread with that, okay? Maybe some strawberries, and you got a nice little waffle. Why a waffle? Because you're waffling on. <laughs> try and get out every day, try and get a bit of sun, get a tan, and just get some fresh air. Clearly social distancing, you know, two meters apart, don't worry about it. But I would suggest that for anyone every day, otherwise you're gonna go freaking insane. So, super excited for lunch, can't wait. I really can't wait. Really, really can wait for that. But we'll see how it goes after our lovely walk. on meal number two of the day. I know you're thinking, uh, first of all Liam, why are you wearing a hat inside is because I'm growing my hair out as it's quarantine and I want to shave it off and I don't want it to be a schlid, it looks pretty shit. So back on it goes. That is dinner, that is lunch. I know what you're thinking, not the most appetizing looking, but we've got some sardines in a can, mashed potato, and I mixed the vegetables in the mashed potatoes. So I actually only used half the veg because I want to use some of the veg for the grounded beef mince later. And I thought that basically, we used to do this as a kid where your mum used to mix stuff in with your mashed potatoes so that it tastes a little bit better. So I thought I'd go with that tactic. There's 400 grams of mashed potato here. That is a lot of mashed potatoes. Let's have a little try. Do you know what? It's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Sardines. We are gonna be very low on protein, but sardines. Not bad. They're not bad. Looks, presenting-wise, dreadful. Absolutely shocking. Probably a two out of 10. If you got this in a restaurant, mate, you would shut the place down. But taste-wise, obviously not as good as meal one, but it's not bad. Like, if, if someone said to me, eat this for your calories, I guess I'd have to, but it's average, five out of 10. I know people are gonna say five out of 10 ain't great, but you can eat it. Also, on another note, do not try and open a can without a can opener. So, I'm very lucky here. Got a little bit lucky, I don't know if you can see this. This isn't me swearing. I'm not swearing at you guys, I cut myself. I used a freaking hard knife. Didn't cut myself in the knife, cut myself in the tin. So do not grab tin or canned veg or food in general. But if you're going to, don't cut yourself. Do you know what? That wasn't that bad. The mash got a little bit dry, but the sardines helped it out a bit. I think, well, no, I wouldn't eat that again. I was about to say, I'd maybe eat that again, but I really wouldn't. Little bit upset with regards to macronutrients so far. Currently, on 1,400 calories, which isn't bad at this time, but the macros are terrible. 36% carbs, 18% protein, 45 fat, so we're gonna have to change up the food later, try and get high protein, high carb, low fat to make that a balanced meal. But meal number two done, time to do some work, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, training time. Let's see if that food actually gives me any fuel to train. Time to change the haircut for the workout. I know, I look like a bit of a twat, but it gets the hair out of my face. I need a proper headband, I look like a right dickhead. But what we got today is some lot of lifting, some snatching, some barbell cycling, so let's crack on with it. No one couple 
bitch that I hit you on the block In the janitor, but I hit you with a mop Better watch your friends, they quick to turn the odds In a bitch, nigga will play you for a thot In a in no style watch, yeah, my shit go tick tock Jumpin' in, out the bando like it's hot scotch My nigga in the kitchen and he whippin' in the pot Watch me see him twirl, then he drop Got I caught the limo just to cut the top They be like, geez, why you always hot? 2019, we shootin' videos on yachts They be on the bike, keep me doin' top of clocks And I'm clippin' on you niggas like a dreadlock And my team winnin' and we ain't gon' stop Bad little cheese and she suck on my cock Nigga won't smoke with me We blow him like a tree Right, so Gonna prep dinner now, but one thing I'm a little bit nervous about. This is the ground beef. Upside down perfectly. Beef grounded, no, it was the right way, it's just back to front. Grounded beef. It's in a freaking tube, it was frozen. A Little bit nervous what it's gonna taste like. If I'm honest, I was actually more Nervous for the fish, but it wasn't actually that bad. So we're gonna cook now a nice little crappy spag bomb. I'm gonna use the rest of the vegetables from the can. I've got one lovely pepper. Do I be cheeky and use a clove of garlic, even though I did not buy it when I was buying everything else? Don't know if I should, but I probably will. And then the ground beef with pasta and those lovely little spices. I'm super excited. I'm actually not super excited, I don't know why I said that. I'm just gonna see how it goes and hopefully it tastes decent. So let's crack on with that and hopefully, as we cook it, it actually looks like a little bit more appealing. Maybe a little. Um, you saw what it looked like, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'm pretty, probably thinking, why is it so browny? It was because of the spices, so not bad. Calories wise, I'm still very decent. Calories are decent, but macros are not good. So first of all, health wise, we're currently sitting at 2,582 calories. Not bad. We're very high in fat, 105 grams of fat. So later on, I'm gonna have some egg whites and bread as a snack. Lucky me. But macro so far, I'll put it somewhere around there. Not bad, actually. I think we could probably hit our macros. Not bad, but... So this meal was probably the one I'm most 100% nervous about. As you can tell, I'm pretty scared. You do not buy a sausage for the meat, do you? Right. I'll be honest, I was expecting a lot worse. I think the spices make a big difference. If I had that freaking tomato, it would have made a difference. Adding a few more veggies, bang it. What this probably needs is just a few more vegetables, maybe a sauce, but I think it's actually pretty decent. It could be worse, could be better, but you're not gonna complain for the price. I'm not gonna lie, even with the pasta, it's pretty decent. Cheap pasta, but pretty good. Um, I'd say this is definitely the second worst meal. Thought it was gonna be the worst. But let's be honest, if it looks like that, and, it, and you throw it in the pan and it looks like that, you're kinda gonna think the worst situation, aren't you really? What I'm gonna do is let's enjoy this meal, watch a bit of Netflix, and chill and eat dinner and then we'll just do a little time lapse. All right, let's go. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Midway through dinner, was not happy with the beef, grounded beef, mint, whatever the frick it was. And there was some left over which I was gonna have in this final meal, but it did not taste very good after a while. I felt a bit weird, felt like it was so oily. It 
it basically processed. It did not taste like food. Like when you're hungry, great. If you're on a budget, a really big budget, it will do, but I couldn't. Now, let's get more depressing to finish the day. We got the rest, we got some mashed potato left over, and we got two egg whites. Absolutely solid banging meal there. Egg whites and mashed potato. Uh, I felt like today has just got more and more depressing as the day went on, but we had to get it done because we were low on carbs, low on protein, and the fat was too high. But I'm putting everything in. I took all the oil out of the fish. I took a lot of the oil out of the vegetables. So it probably is lower fat, but you gotta make a count. You gotta go higher than what you think just to balance it out. All right, let's see how this tastes. Doesn't really taste of anything. Tastes of the mashed potato earlier, and because it's egg whites, there's not much to it, so sick. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. This is where we're gonna end the video for the day. I feel like you can definitely eat, feel full, hit your calories for 20 hours a day budget, but your macros may not play out if you're trying to eat good, and you may not eat the most tasty food, for example. So guys, if you've made it this far, clearly smash that like button and subscribe because we've got some awesome videos and challenges coming up which I'm super excited about. I'm going to enjoy this, enjoy the rest of my night, enjoy some Netflix. Guys, until next time, peace.